Hey, 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 Scrappy people, Tracy Reed here today, coming at you with a digital to hybrid layout. I printed this collection on glitter cardstock from Printworks. I'm just showing you that right here. But I pre-designed this layout in Photoshop using the Goodnight Moonlight collection from Digital Scrapbook Ingredients. It is available at Sweet Shop Designs. I will leave a link in the description box below. But I pre-designed this layout in Photoshop so you can see the background paper has digital stamps on it, digital mixed media. The photo itself is printed with digital mixed media. I've shown how to do this process before, so I chose not to record it um, today. And instead, I want to talk about ways in which you can combine digital products and uh you know, real tactile products into really cool things. So there's certain things that you can do in Photoshop that you just can't do in real life. Um, there are certain things that you can do in real life that you can't do in Photoshop. So that is why I really enjoy hybrid scrapbooking. True hybrid, hybrid scrapbooking is not just printing digital products, although that def definitely counts, but it also is including um, digital techniques in your pages. And so that is why I um, am showing how I used these digital stars and I put them over uh, both of my photos and my background, like, like I had stamped them directly on the page after it was printed. Um, I'm gonna show a few different techniques I did digitally as well, including hanging those lights up there at the top of that photo and creating a drop shadow underneath that to give it a little bit of depth. Um, obviously something that tiny would be really hard to recreate in real life and get some really great depth to it. So that is another great thing about digital scrapbooking that you you can get those like teeny tiny little things that have just like that really nice pop of depth. Another thing I did was create my layout or my title here space bar using a digital alphabet. But in order to make it easy on myself when I knew I was going to be reassembling this layout, I overlapped all of these letters so that they created one large title so that when I went ahead and printed it and cut it with my silhouette, I wouldn't have to re, um, reconfigure or put back together that title. So that's another trick that I often use when I am doing or when I'm designing layouts in Photoshop and then transferring them to real life. Another thing I did was these two um, drinks here is actually one file, one image, but I mirrored them. I flipped them horizontally so that they would frame each side of this title perfectly and they would be mirror images of each other. There are just so many things in Photoshop that frankly I miss <laughs> when I am just scrapbooking straight in um, straight on paper like hybrid style or with actual physical products because there's just so many cool things that you can do. I printed and cut all of these little stars as well. I'm going to put some of them on top of some of the printed stars, and then I'm also going to scatter them around the page, adding just a little bit of something something. Now you can see this page is great, it's fine. Um, it would be wonderful just as it is because there's a lot going on. However, you know that I really like to add um, bling or just little things that take my layouts to the next level. So because most of this is flat printed, you know, paper cardstock stuff, I'm going to add in some sequins and things to just create a little bit more magic on this page. So I'm cutting it in half and then I'm going to add my um, holes in the hole punch, I did pre-design, or with the hole punch, I did pre-design this to make sure that it would not um, hole punch anyone's faces or cut down the middle of their face when I, um, you know, cut it in half. That's another advantage of pre-designing my layout in Photoshop when I know that I want my page to span, you know, or want my photos to span the whole page. All right, so. We missed everyone's face, hallelujah. I'm gonna add in a pocket page from Citrus Twist Kits. It is two three by fours. I have a photo on one side, plus this 
journaling card that I designed and printed on glitter cardstock in Photoshop using the product in the collection. Um, I used a digital paper, and I'll show you that in a minute. I used a digital paper a, and one of the labels, added my journaling, and just printed it out all in one piece. Now I knew that I didn't want the faces of my friends to get covered up. So what I'm gonna do in this top pocket is I'm actually gonna create a see-through pocket with some bling. So I have these sequins, I wanted to add in some blue and teal, and then also some purple to match the page. So I'm gonna pull in a couple more. Man, I've gotten so much use out of these purple sequins. I think I use them more than any other sequin. And then I will just seal that with my um, fuse tool when I'm all done with this layout. But you can see that the sequins rest just under everyone's faces, but they add that really cool pop of something magical to this page that really you can't easily um, recreate digitally. So I could have used digital sequins on this page, but the real sequins just give it that little bit of extra. And I, obviously I couldn't have used digital sequins on a see-through pocket on this page. So there's just ways that you can take digital techniques, digital products, combine them with paper techniques and paper products and really make something magical and different than you can make with either one of those things separately, which is exactly what I did on this page. And I hope that um, when I create pages like this, I hope that it encourages you to dive a little bit further into digital scrapbooking. I know that I have a lot of hybrid um, scrapbookers here because obviously I sell hybrid product. I cater my product to hybrid scrapbookers, but I also sell things like digital stamps and templates that are really fun to use in Photoshop or in um, pro programs like that. So yeah, that is it for this layout. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy Emery and I'd love to see you over there as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you.